Loss of fever is an old world arena virus. This doesn't mean that it's particularly older than any others, but rather refers to its region, which is Africa. It's estimated that 300,000 or more are infected each year, but it's hard to get a better count as there are surely many infected who were never treated in hospitals or clinics where they could be counted. This disease is still endemic. This map shows the areas that have had outbreaks of loss of fever. Although this map shows specifically countries that have had outbreaks, it should be noted that loss of fever is far more common in rural areas than it is in cities or well-developed areas. Poor sanitation and lack of appropriate and readily available medical care lead to faster and easier spread of disease and higher mortality, as there is not much treatment for those who fall ill. Although they are acute, these rodents are the vector for loss of fever. Contact with urine or feces of the common African rat, Mastomyces natalensis, spreads the virus. This is why it is found in areas with poor sanitation, where it is common for mice droppings to enter the food or water supplies. The virus does not affect the mice at all, they are only passive carriers. The virus can also be spread through aerosolized particles. Coughing and sneezing have been documented as ways to spread loss of fever, and are a major concern for controlling the spread of disease. Isolation of infected indiv individuals is key. The virus may be found in the blood and semen, but no definitive link to spread through these means has been documented. Specifically, the virus has been found in semen up to six weeks after symptoms have subsided, strongly supporting but not confirming the notion that the virus may be spread through semen. Not everyone who gets loss of fever actually experiences dramatic hemorrhaging. Only about one-third of people infected hemorrhage. Out of all people with Lhasa treated in hospitals, the mortality rate is estimated to be 15 to 20 percent. And for those who hem hemorrhage, it greatly increases the chance that the disease will be fatal. Those in rural areas generally lack access to proper care and treatment, so the mortality rate is estimated to be much higher there as well. Lhasa fever is stigmatized in many communities due to the infectivity of the virus and the dramatic outcome of those symptoms. The isolation of those infected is very important, but it may contribute to the stigmatization of the disease. After the virus has run its course, individuals who are perfectly healthy may have trouble reintegrating into the community. Machupo virus is a New World arena virus that was endemic in Bolivia. It was first identified in 1959, occurred throughout the 1960s, and may have isolated outbreaks today. Its emergence caused a lot of panic, with its dramatic hemorrhagic symptoms and swift deaths, leading people to call it black typhus out of fear. Because it was a strange and deadly disease emerging in rural areas, there was a call for international researchers to come study the disease and find out how to prevent or cure it. Carl Johnson, with the U.S. National Institute of Health, created a portable sterile environment to study mice and managed to isolate Machupo and identify it as an arena virus. The gold box that contains the northern area of Bolivia is the epicenter of the Machupo virus outbreak. It, it is centered around the small agricultural town of San Joaquin and the surrounding rural areas. It's estimated that 20% of the population of San Joaquin died during the initial outbreak. Machupo virus is almost entirely spread from rodent to human. Calamus colossus, the large vesper mouse, is the culprit in South America. Dried mouse urine on dirt floors of rural homes is the biggest problem, with particles being swept up from rural dirt floors into the air and inhaled. Contaminated food stores were also an issue. When there is increased contact between rodents and humans, for example, when people are eating mainly from food stores or the rodent population is high, evidence of human-to-human -human transmission is low. The easiest and most effective way to control the Machupo virus is to limit human interaction with the rodents who carry the disease. By controlling the rodent population, taking precautions to keep rodents out of homes, and monitor monitoring food supplies for signs of rodent contamination, a community can help curb the virus. A vaccine has been developed, but it's not particularly effective and is only distributed to those most at risk. Junin virus was the first arena virus to be isolated in 1958. It is also known as the Argentine hemorrhagic fever. The virus is spread by a variety of common rodents, and contact with rodent or urine feces is again the largest risk factor. The gold area in the south is the area that Junin virus was prevalent. The area of the Machupo virus is seen on the same map. They are countries apart and isolated from each other, but are related in the fact that they are both New World arenaviruses. 
Like other arena viruses, Junin initially presents with mild symptoms. It is later that more serious neurological and hemorrhagic symptoms occur. The second phase is the most dangerous, not only because of the harmful effects of the disease, but also the fact that other diseases, such as pneumonia and septicemia, will become apparent or worsen at this stage. When treated with the plasma from Junin survivors, the mortality rate falls from between 10 and 30 percent to less than 1 percent of patients.